Hello my crafty friends, it's Ellie from Periwinkle Matilda. Here is another um, craft with me. Let's create an easy peasy envelope journal. It's a small one. It's really cute. I'm going to be using my Porch Prince, the Yummy Christmas Kit again. I just love it. <clears throat> and you're going to need 6 by 9 inch envelopes <coughs> excuse me if you don't have envelopes you can certainly use a thin cardstock and just fold it together to make like a folded tube type thing um like this i'll show you thin cardstock it will be a little bit thinner not as wide but yeah you could um, do that or you could use an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper maybe two together or book pages um, but I'm going to use three envelopes and I'm going to seal them this is a really easy cute flip journal that has it's uh, consisting of multiple pockets with journaling cards really really cute I made this um, last year it's kind of my prototype we're gonna do it a little bit different we're gonna give it a better spine because it ended up so thick <laughs> so then what you're gonna want to do after you seal the envelope is fold them in half so I hope everyone's doing well today today I start my five days home um, where I get to craft and I'm really excited today I'm going to be going to the post office to ship off a Christmas journal that sold on Etsy and <clears throat> I'm also going to go to HomeSense. If I don't find what I'm looking for, I will also be going to Marshalls, I think. And then if I still can't find what I'm looking for, I'll uh, search Amazon to see if I can get what I need. So what I'm looking for is just some tightly weaved cotton kitchen towels, preferably white and red. Um, to make a crocheted top hanging kitchen towel that I'm going to be doing a tutorial on uh, where we crochet the top of it. It turns out really cute. Okay, so um, I think what we'll do is, I don't think I'll use this cardstock. I think I will use um, just regular cardstock for the cover and um, I'm going to give it a spine let's see how big of a spine we should do maybe we'll give it a half inch spine I think that will be good for this so um, my scoreboard is still on the way <laughs> okay so um half would be five and a half and we'll do what did i say a half an inch I will mark half an inch so it's five and a quarter inches from each end Thank you. 
want that to turn out the same. Let's see if I did this right. Five and a quarter, five and a quarter. That one was wrong. Five and a quarter. Okay, so I'm going to mark both ends and then use my ruler to fold it. Good crease. We'll do the other side. So if you haven't checked out the video from two days ago where I announced the giveaway that we're going to be doing, make sure that you head on over to that video watch it in its entirety because I will be giving the requirements for the giveaway in that video and then um, subscribe and hit the bell so that you'll be um, notified of all upcoming videos especially next Thursdays where I will be um, <clears throat> announcing the winner for the drawing very exciting. Okay. So I'm going to cut this down. So this measures six and a quarter by four and three quarters. So we're going to kind of work around that, that size. Hopefully it'll work out. So I'm just going to trim this down. <coughs> Excuse me. Also cut this down, I think it's a quarter of an inch. Yep. So I'll cut it down a quarter of an inch on each, each side. So I'll give you the, the measurement once I cut this down so it'll be a little bit easier when you create it. Okay, so the actual cover is four and three quarters by six and a half. Four and three quarters by six and a half, and then a half inch spine. Now for the spine, I think I'm going to um, add, hmm, I'm trying to decide, do I want to add? Yes, we're gonna do a hidden spine for this, so <clears throat> it'll be okay. So let's put this aside for now, the cover aside. And let's start preparing the pocket envelope pages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim down the ends. Just cut a sliver. The 
this envelope isn't quite straight, so we'll make it work. All right. And then we're going to glue down all the little flippy flaps that didn't get glued down. I think I'll use my art glitter glue. Lots of flappies here. One more. So what I did was I didn't cover all of the envelope because I like this, um, the color of the envelope to show. Um, but I did ink around all the edges. And let me get some more ink. Put a lot of ink on here so I can do this fast. Okay, I think I will <laughs> pause this. Um, Pause the video for a few moments while I ink all around it so you don't have to sit and watch me and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So I inked all the edges. I lied. I forgot to do this one. I'm going to um, cut 
cut a notch pull using my two inch circle punch. I'll do this a little bit further away from the microphone. It gets kind of loud. loud <laughs> okay and then I need to ink around that to want to cut pa <clears throat> pages for both sides so um, you're gonna need four per envelope so a total of 12 pieces and I printed on cardstock and I'm just going to Leave a little border. Like that and I'll have to cut the notch out as well you'll probably want to glue the cardstock down and then maybe do your punch or maybe not because maybe it won't go through yeah um, scratch that uh, you'll do the the punches on the cards um, separately so I'm going to um, cut this piece for all the sides I'm going to ink around it, cut out the notch, and then glue it down, and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> so I did all of the um, panels on all the sides of the envelopes, but I left one just to show you a little tip. What I do is I lay my paper down the way I want it with the frame around. Then I trace around where the notch is, and then I cut it out a little bit bigger than what I drew. And then it will fit perfectly. So just a little tip because the first envelope I did I cut all four pieces at the same time <clears throat> and then they didn't really match up perfectly like this way does so yep just a little tip on how to make it look good All right, so now that we have, straighten up a little bit here. Now that we have um, all of our panels on, then we can start decorating them. And this pocket 
I used, let's see, I cut out a lot of the pieces from the kit. See if I can find the cookie. Okay, here it is. I'm going to round the corners. made it a little bit smaller so I will just cut it down on either side a little bit You can put a little notch if you want. I think I'll do that. We'll fill the pockets after we sew the envelopes in. Then the next page, I cut this part out um, and created a belly band out of it. So I'll just fussy cut it real fast. measure to see how tall we want it. I'll just bend it because I can't find my pencil right now. We'll cut it about cut it about there. And then we'll ink it up. Yeah. 
just inking this side a little bit more to kind of match up there. And I'm going to glue it down. This next page, I use this, this little ephemera from the kit as a tuck. And then I'm just going to glue it here and here, wait, here, here, and here, three sides. See how easy it is and it looks so cute. It'll make a great gift. It'll be great for a teacher, family member. You can put gift cards in it. Um, you can put money in it, gift money. Okay, so this one is an envelope. Don't remember. Oh, here it is. Okay. It's like I don't remember seeing that. I did uh, print this on card, but ideally I would print the envelopes on uh, just regular copier paper. Just so they're, they're not so thick, but that's okay. Luckily, this card isn't really thick anyway. I mean, it's thicker than copier paper, but not as thick as the heavier weight cardstock that I like to get. So I think it'll be okay. Okay. just glue it down I'll go on here. Let me get a paper clip. Lots of 
colorful paper clips that I think I got at Dollar Tree. Okay, so that one's done, decorated. Now the next one, I used this piece for a belly band. So let's see if we can find that. used maybe this I don't know but we'll do it so <clears throat> I'm not sure what piece I used I hate the fact though that I'm gonna cut off Christmas it won't look right let's see I'm gonna look through my other papers here I think I used part of the envelope this part of the envelope. So, yep, let's do that. Make it a little bit, the width a little bit smaller. Okay, Let's see if it's even. bit shorter yet. Yep, that's good enough. So we'll ink it up. Okay, let's see, the next one, I used this, let's see if we can find it, if not, we can use something else. So many wonderful pieces in this kit just love it okay so this is a good size we just need to cut it down a little bit okay and I'm gonna round the corners
actually I'm going to put a little divot just a little one glue it down And this one, I'll find this image. Let's see. I think it was this. <laughs> yeah, it was this. And what I did was I just um, made it swiggly myself. not really straight. That's okay though. Probably be better if you draw it first. We'll make it work though. Okay, I'm going to, this is a tuck, so we're going to glue it down on three sides. Next one is this cute image with the reindeer and the hot chocolate. Let's see if we can find that. Yep, it's this one. Okay, I think I cut it down at the bottom. a little bit more and I'll cut some at the top I think I'll cut a little bit on the sides A little divot. And we'll round the corners. Look it up. Sweet. 
sweet. Looks great. Another one done. And now for the last one. Okay, I think this was a journal card that I cut. So let's see if we can find that. can't find that one but we'll find something else to use Trying to find something that I can cut that won't look funny. Maybe. I think it was probably this page, but I made it bigger. I wonder if I just, no, I don't really like that. Sorry guys, I'm fucking a bit, a bit here, but what about this one? Let's do something with this. Let's see if we can improv improvise with this envelope. I like the print on it. Cut it down. So you don't always have to use the ephemera the way they're in printed intended to be used. You can always just do something different. Decide I don't need it angled that much. I think I'll round that corner a bit so it doesn't look funny. looks all right. I like that. We'll make it work. I want to round this one. Round that one a little bit.
glue down two sides. Okay, we have another little corner tuck here, I think it was a journal card, let's see if we can find that. Yep, yeah, was this one. This corner looks cute. it down on two sides. Okay, and then I just use this little journaling card as a little pocket tuck at the bottom. So let's see if I can find that. There it is. Just round the corners. I think I'll put a little divot in it. Just a little shallow one. Glue it down on three sides. Love how easy this kit is to use for decorating a journal. Okay, and then I glued down this end. Um, I glued this down, but I'm not going to do that. So let's put, let's make this a little tuck. Glue it 
down on two sides. Okay. Now we'll decorate the cover. So what I'm going to do for the cover is I'm going to ink this all around. Then I'm going to cover it, I think, with this red lined paper from the kit, both outside and inside of it. Glue it down on here, and then I will be back to show you the next step. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I covered, it's got a total of three pieces of cardstock on front and back because the base of it was a piece of cardstock and then I printed on cardstock and covered all the sides. <clears throat> it has a nice one inch spine and the envelopes fit in nicely. So I'm going to... Um, show you a few things first that um, when I pause the camera uh, to put the paper on the on the cover I went and ran my errands I went to uh, the post office and I mailed off a journal that's going to Florida and um, I ran into HomeSense and as promised I got the um, towels so that we can do the crochet hanging topper towels for Christmas. And that's going to be an upcoming video very shortly. Um, I wanna show you what we'll be doing. Um, some of these are examples of ones that I made that the towels have already been decorated and I got them at HomeSense last year. So here's one, I think it turned out really cute. And I'm going to be selling these maybe on Etsy, craft shows, and I also use them as gifts. I give them as gifts. This is what the one that we're going to make. I used acrylic paints to paint a Christmas design on. And yes, when you wash it, it washes nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. It washes nicely and the paint, paint stays on and it's fine. It works great. I use one all the time in my kitchen. So we're going to be making this one where we're going to paint. Here is just a plain one that's got a little bit of rickrack on the bottom. Here's another one um, from HomeSense where it's already decorated and I just put the crochet topper on top. Another one. And another one. So I'll show you what I got at HomeSense today. Uh, HomeSense has all of their Christmas stuff now. They have a really great selection of things, so I definitely recommend that you run over, over there this weekend. Um, so these are the towels that I got, and um, this one's already decorated, so this one won't be painted, but I will put a topper on this one. And then I have a plain red one, and this one um, is like a honeycomb, um, and you can still paint on it. It's just, I prefer the smoother ones to paint on. Uh, this one has a little bit of rickrack, but I'm going to paint on this one anyway with you all, and maybe paint on this one. This is just a plain uh, red and white with circles, and we'll do a nice... Um, painted design on it so get yourself a towel what I did for this one the one that I painted is I took a full towel and I cut it in half so I actually got two out of one it's just a shorter it's a shorter hand towel so yeah 
I wanted to show you that. And then they also carry the Martha Stewart trims and things. Um, this is a, a ribbon spool. I really like the wooden spool. This was only $7.99, and I wanted some pom-pom trim. And then this one is really interesting. It's like a spindle spool, and it's got nice nice yarn with, um, or string with, like baker's twine with gold in it. And this one was $7.99, so I was really happy with that. And then one more thing I want to show you that I got, which I'm going to use for my upcoming um, Christmas journals that I'll make. I might make one or two more this year, but definitely next year. This is the craft paper. It's Martha Stewart Jumbo Roll Heavyweight Gift Wrap. And the paper is actually um, thick craft paper. And I love the Santa Claus and the, the Christmas tree. And I'm going to cut this up and use this for journal pages. And you can use it for decorating pockets and stuff like that. But it's a huge, let's see what it measures. It was $9.99 and it measures, it's 100 square feet, three point, wait, not three, 8.88 feet times 10 yards. So 101,000 and six centimeters times 9,002 centimeters. Or maybe that's 101.6 centimeters and 9.2 meters. Yeah. So yeah, great deal. Great printed, pay already printed for you that you can use in your journal pages, four pages as well as decorating. So I'm going to end this um, part one. I'm gonna make this part one of the easy peasy um, small envelope journal and uh, stay tuned for part two where we will decorate the front cover we'll sew in the pages the um, envelope pages and we'll make the journaling cards so until the next video take care be safe and we'll see you next time